Globally, we produce something in the vicinity of 50 billion tonne of sand, gravel and crushed stone per year. That's a very large amount uh, of uh, material that's needed to construct buildings, build bridges, roads, etc. About 15 billion tonne of that 50 billion tonne is actually at sand uh, fraction. Uh, and the rest is at gravel or crushed stones, so a larger grain size. The big sand sustainability challenge is the extraction of uh, sand and gravel from natural waterways and dynamic ecosystems. That tends to happen in rivers, uh, on the coast and in the marine environment. And so lately there has been quite a bit of international interest in better governance of sand resources. Uh, United Nations Environment Program has been leading this through Grid Geneva and the potential is to make a transition from the paradigm of very cheap abundant river and marine sand that's causing um, significant sustainability issues, particularly in Asia, to uh, alternatives where they uh, might be able to supplement this uh, the, the sand extracted from dynamic natural ecosystems. And so we have that, that sustainability challenge on one side. On the other side, we have the mine tailing sustainability challenge. So we produce in the vicinity of 30 to 60 billion tonne of year of mine waste and tailings. So the question arises, can we remove some proportion of that tailings prior to it becoming waste? And so that we have to store less and process less of that material into uh, 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 tailings um, material. What well, we're suggesting is a new type of sand uh, called ore sand, which would be a byproduct or a co-product of mineral processing. So by ore sand, we mean a type of processed sand, it's a byproduct or co-product of, of mineral ores that is a result of crushing and grinding and all of the other processes that we might put to a mineral ore, but crucially that we would also optimize for the kind of uh, characteristics we want from the sand material for its construction purposes. So part of the big challenge of repurposing tailings material in the past has been that we've just tried to take the waste produced by the mineral industry uh, tailings and see whether it could be applied to different construction or other industrial applications. Um, that has led to material that's not often um, optimal for that purpose. What we're talking about here is adding mineral processing circuits to a um, uh, producing mining operation that would create or produce the kind of sand material that would be um, needed for the construction sector.